What's up, everybody? I am Ghost Boy Colby. We're back in Rapture in Bioshock. Um, I don't know how long that... Well, I guess, you know, we have 2 minutes and 35 seconds. So, we probably ought to get moving. And... Try to meet up with, uh... This batty plant woman spends four I forgot years her name. With ways to defoliate trees the woman who's trying to, to stop Ryan trap. from now, poisoning everything. I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Like I said before, I, I'm not very good at following what's going on in the story at this point. I don't know why, it just doesn't... It just doesn't click. Like, on a basic level, I get that he wants to poison this part uh, of Rapture. It's something about, like, cutting off the oxygen supply, but it just it doesn't make sense. Like, why is he, is he trying to just do it to this part of the city because he wants to kill us? Or is he, like, trying to kill the entire city? And it's like a, you know, I'll take it all down if it means I take you down too, sort of thing. Because that's what it almost seems like, but I just, I, maybe I'm misinterpreting something, maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. I've just never really gotten it. So if there, if there, is anybody watching that is familiar with this game? Uh, maybe you can, like, kind of fill me in on what I've been missing that's making it so hard for me to understand, to comprehend what's going on in the story in this part. Because, I mean, if I'm right and it's as simple as I think it is, then it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I love this game, but, you know... That's why I gotta be hard on it and admit when things just don't add up. But uh, I think... Oh, of course, there we go. We're doing good on money, like we are almost... I remember actually that last time we had to buy stuff just so that our wallet wouldn't be full anymore. <laughs> there she is. Uh... I thought her name was Julie. You and I, did we not? Julie Langford? Money is she the woman on the... I'm assuming the that's... Section 3, subsection 4. Mr. Ryan. Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus Vector. Ownership of civilization. Wait! No! Please! Without it, that is <laughs> See, I don't... I don't see how he can claim that this is a superior form of government or whatever. He's literally a dictator. And he, he preached so much about how the other... Uh, how the other... Forms of government were so inferior and restrictive, but like, he's much worse. So what's this about the Lazarus Vector? I've been killing trees for 25 years at Berkeley back in the 20s. On the Why isn't this killing team, us? But I never brought one back from the grave before. I did, Becky. Mama's gonna build her first damn Franken tree. I'm gonna call my little creation the Lazarus Vector. Maybe it'll bring the old gal's career back from the dead as well. Okay, so I was only half paying attention to what was being said in that. Maybe it gave a lot, I'm sure it gave a lot more context to what the Lazarus Vector is. Um, or something to that effect. Uh oh, okay, here we go. Uh, no, 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 this one. And then, boom. Sorry, I, I need uh, I need first aid kits, and I don't know. Maybe I should have broken that first or that med station. I don't I don't really know. 
Okay, so the code to this, she wrote it on the thing before she died. Nine five or nine four five seven. And it's a good thing too, because we are not able to hack this. So if we didn't know the code, we'd just be screwed. What's the point of being a damn genius if the only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons? I've cracked the vector, or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Okay, we already got that for her. A bit of chlorophyll, an enzyme to uh, that's so right, we need en God. enzymes, Honey chlorophyll, beans. and distil distilled water. You have a multi-part goal. See, you know, the, the motivations in the part before are what confused me, but then this non-linear part of it is what confused me even more. So I think I'm, I'm kind of starting to piece together what all is going on, but I'm still not 100% sure. Um... Okay, so let's just pick. I think this is what I always failed to do before. Um, I never picked one to be the main objective. Kind of like how you have to do in Skyrim, and I, you know, I'm figuring that out because I'm also playing that series alongside this one. Oh my. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the good thing about playing, like, really influential games like that, is that typically, because they're so influential, something you learn about one game can carry over into the next one. Um, alright, I'm gonna need to be careful, because I want that bot, that turret. And I do not have that many first aid kits. And I'm really glad that accidentally, like, pressing on those combustion things, the overload panels, don't just automatically fail you. That would be terrible for me because I do that a lot. Okay, I need horizontal ones. One more. No, not that one. There we go. There we go. I'm not entirely sure that I have to shock them before I, you know, because you can shock them or you can uh, hack them without shocking them. But I, it's just force of habit. I mean, I'm. I think it gives me some kind of bonus, but even if it doesn't, it's really just force of habit, and it's not like, you know, it, it only takes as much Eve as one zap, so. And if we got that Eve Saber tonic, it'd be even less. So it's like, it's not really doing any harm if I keep doing it, it's just, I don't know if it necessarily gives me as much of a benefit as I think it does. Even if it doesn't, I'm still probably going to do it. It's just a habit. A harmless habit. Uh-oh. I heard a Houdini. Oh, I didn't even... S oh, I didn't ha... Oh my god. I'm not risking that. We're auto-hacking this. I'm sorry. Uh, get out of there! Cat's playing around somewhere where he's not supposed to be. Let's see, Eve hypos, I need those two. So yeah, that took a bite out of our wallet. Whatever. Uh-oh. Ooh, I'm glad that I corrected the targeting on that right before it was too late. Because I almost did not hit the uh the turret. And I don't think this stuff was able to be hacked or hackable. I don't know if hackable is a word, so.
but uh, I, I don't know if we could even hack it before because it had that like security shutdown thing, alarm, the, the countdown timer ticking down. So I, I don't know. I'm assuming that meant that at the time we couldn't hack them. Oh, research camera. There we go. That was good. Well, apparently not that good. But, you know. Dear lord. He is lighting that turret up. Okay, um... Shotgun. Yeah. Oh, bye-bye turret. Alright. Um... Okay, we got a chlorophyll solution. We need that. But... From what I remember, we're gonna need a bunch more. So, I think all we need to do now is just get out of here. Um, I don't remember which way we go to get out. This way? Yeah, exit. There we go. So, I don't I don't think there's anything we can do with that. I just saw I saw a switch and I was like, can we flip it? Okay, so now we're going to the farmer's market. And if we happen to come across splicers along the way, whatever loot we may find on their body is fair game. Nice. And luckily we're getting some money back. Um, I, I don't think I need to stress too much about money at this stage of the game. I know I use that phrase a lot, but it's because, you know, you need to be prepared for different levels of difficulty depending on where you are in whatever game you're playing. So, whether I say it in, uh, in Bioshock or Skyrim or Final Fantasy, it's an applicable phrase. Uh-oh. Uh, because it's all situational. Uh, as games go on throughout their various stages, they vary in uh, in difficulty, that, or at least a game with some good game design will. Uh, you don't want it to be the same level of difficulty all throughout, because that gets stale really quickly. So you need to you need to have peaks and valleys. Uh, make make there be points where the player is really scratching their head trying to figure out what to do and then parts where you know it's more not necessarily food spoon fed I almost said food sped uh not necessarily food i almost said it again not necessarily spoon fed but like um just slightly more linear i guess or not even necessarily linear, but it's like where where what they're supposed to do is clear to them. I don't I don't really know if there's a phrase that summarizes that concept. Uh -oh. Okay, let's go with the pistol. Apparently, that's not good enough. What are you doing? Is he fully researched? I guess so. Uh, it probably said that in the corner and I bet I missed it, but whatever. Let's go with machine gun. No whatever. God damn it. Ah, oh, get out of the way. I hate that when they're just flying directly in your path. Like, I wish you could, like, clip through them if they were friendly. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't be realistic, but then they wouldn't always be in your damn way. Okay, we're not supposed to go that way, so I don't think we're gonna go that way. And I don't see anything over there. Wait, did I get turned around? I think I did. 
Ooh, power to the people station. Okay, so this is the second one we've found so far. I'll try and find them all, but no promises. Because it seems like no matter what game I play, no matter how thorough I think I'm being, I always miss something. But, um... Damage increase... Let, let's go with damage increase on the pistol. I don't think I'm necessarily focusing on just one uh, weapon to be upgrading. And obviously, if that leadhead splicer was fully researched and yet we still weren't doing that much damage to him, I think that shows that it's the pistol. Because there's literally no more research we can do on the leadhead. And this shouldn't be impossible for us. Tricky, maybe, but not impossible. So far, seems pretty standard. Okay, I take it back, I take it back. <laughs> uh, let's see, make it go this way. All right, now use these horizontal ones over here. And then curve it upwards. Come on, a couple more vertical ones. Alright, one will do. Now I'm gonna have to pull some crazy antics to get us to the end. Here we go. Perfect. Alright, that one was a little little tricky. Um, I think we're good on ammo. I guess, I don't know. I might buy a little more napalm. Other than that, we're good. Whoa! Ow. Apparently that damage increase was what I needed. I'm glad my bot's still alive. Uh, let's call him Scott. Because Scott's been pretty helpful. So, right now, Scott, you are this bot. Where, where did you go? Where'd you go, Scott? There you are. Where the hell did you come from? You are Scott. And Scott is you. Okay, another chlorophyll solution. That's what, two out of seven? I don't remember finding any others. I'm trying to keep track of it in my head so that I know how many we have and how many we need. Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, okay. 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 Oh, I almost got screwed. Okay. We're good. In fact, I don't think I even need that uh, resistor. I guess I'm getting a little cocky, but you know what? I think that's okay. Because I did it. Yes. Alright. Hack to that. Ooh, thank you for the first aid kits. Thank you for the damn money. That was a nice chunk of change right there. Alright, anything else? Uh, pet bars. Don't mind if I do. Alright. And then... Don't... Okay, we, I think we made it to the farmer's market, obviously, because the sign's right there. Not make something like me. I look at jeans all day long, and never do I see the blueprints of sin. I could blame the Germans, but in truth, I did not find tormentors in the prison camp, but kindred spirits. These children and I brutalized have awoken something inside that for most is beautiful and natural. Hmm. But in me is an abomination. My maternal instinct. So it seems that, um, I'm, I'm theorizing here a little bit. Uh, maybe ten bon so apparently she's talking about her maternal instinct. I did not mean to do that. <sighs> Apparently, Tenenbaum's maternal instinct is what led her to start the project in creating Little Sisters, and now she's feeling an internal conflict about how she's such a, like, woman of science, 
and yet I don't know what's going on with me. Okay. She's such a woman of science, and yet she can't, for the life of her, give a scientific justification to why she is that way. Because now she's she's feeling like some kind of monster for doing this to the little girls that she's turning into little sisters. And I, I don't know, maybe it's leading her to some sort of like existential crisis. She's questioning her own morals, um, obviously feeling guilty about what she's done but even more guilty because apparently she also doesn't plan to stop. Maybe that's what's sort of causing her, at least a part of her, inner conflict. I'm just theorizing. And something's going wrong. It never ends. It really doesn't. But I think what will end once I step through this door is this episode. Uh... Julie, my dear, I am trying to run a business here. You want to spend time with my honeybees? Well, I'm gonna have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. As to your question, yes. My days in beekeeping school are a blur, but I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. Okay, apparently they are already fighting. You know what? I might just let them go about their business. Oh no! No 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 no! God, I just got a face full of rocket. Okay, so I guess it depends on the... on what particular kind of... Uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh-oh. This is damn near impossible. It's not... Oh, it's impossible. I cannot solve it. Sometimes that happens. Um, I guess if I had one of those, uh... I, I guess the one that got rid of those overload tiles, or I think I had another one that, like, got rid of two overloads and two alarms or something like that. Uh, if I had one of those, we probably wouldn't have been in that situation, but I don't, you know... I see the problem as the fact that that situation is even possible to begin with. Not that I didn't have the right tonics. And I uh, don't know, it's it's network quality problems. I don't I don't see why. There should be no reason for this. But it's happening anyways. So I'm not stopping the episode until I'm ready. Uh, let's see. It's hard to focus. Uh, whenever stuff like this happens, it's just really, really frustrating. It throws me off. Uh, frag grenade. I'm trying to stay out of the way. For obvious reasons. God damn it. Okay, but with all that said, I think I'm stopping it right here, and I guess I'll try and figure out what's causing the quality network problems, but I don't know, no, no promises. Um, and if I can, I'm going to try and record the next episode of Bioshock right after this one. It won't be uploaded right after, but I want to record it right after, so yeah. Um, until the next video, peace.